I'd like to tell you a story of the artist and the apprentice. Now, once upon a time in a far, far away land, long, long ago, there was a little boy who was taken to the master painter in the whole land. He was the best that you could find anywhere. And over the years, this boy started to develop amazing skills at drawing spectacular pieces. Then one day, the master invited him and he told him, young man, I have finished teaching you everything I possibly can. It's time for you to go out into the real world. And the boy looked a bit puzzled and he said, but how do I know if I'm that good? So he asked the young apprentice to get a canvas and paint his most spectacular masterpiece and bring it to him. And so the young apprentice did just that. It took him several days, but he made the most beautiful piece of art you have ever seen and he brought it to his master. The master asked him to get an easel and take his canvas to the marketplace. However, he should take a paintbrush and black paint, as well as a cardboard where he would write certain key instructions. So the boy took it to the entrance of the marketplace. He set up the easel, put the beautiful masterpiece up on display for everyone to see and then set the paint and paintbrush next to it. And then he created this message. He was told by his master to write down, if you see anything wrong, or if you dislike any part of this work of art, put a black dot on it. At the end of the day, the young apprentice went back to the marketplace and to his shock and dismay, the entire piece was covered in black. Whew, he was demoralized, he was dismayed, he was so deflated. So he took the piece back to the master and was actually in tears. He said, they hate my work, I'm not that good. He told him to calm down and gave him the same set of instructions again to go and paint another spectacular piece. After a few days, reluctantly, the young apprentice did just that. And when he brought it back, it was just as beautiful as the first piece. So he took it once again to the marketplace as he was instructed to do. However, this time around, he was told to take white paint and a paintbrush. And what he was to write on the note was, if you like any part of this painting, put a white dot on it. At the end of the day, he went back. And to his shock and disbelief, the entire painting was white. He was so excited. However, he was a bit puzzled. So he took it back to the master painter and he said, I don't understand. Some really like it and some really hate it. He then asked him to do one more assignment. He said, go once more and paint another beautiful masterpiece just like the other two. And the boy did. When he brought it back, he now asked him to get a blank canvas and a second easel. He told him to take it to the entrance of the marketplace and take a paintbrush as well as the whole mix of paints that were used to create that piece. And the young apprentice did just that. This time around, the instruction was, if you don't like any part of this work of art, please create your own on the blank canvas. And at the end of the day, the young apprentice came back and he was quite surprised because his masterpiece was intact and the canvas he brought was totally blank, just the way he left it. So he went back to his master and he says, I'm a bit confused. I took it, however, no one seemed to be able to replicate what I had done. He said, son, I want you to remember this. In life, there are people who will love what you do and there are people who will hate what you do. There are people who would love the service you offer and there will be people who will hate what you have to offer. However, if you are authentic and if you make sure each and every time in all your interactions, in everything you do, you produce your best masterpiece, then you have nothing to worry about. Remember this, those who do hate and criticize your work most likely won't be able to replicate what you do. So focus on creating your best masterpiece each and every time. The truth of the matter is, for many of us, some will hate what we do, 
some will love what we do. However, if we are focused, if we always ask ourselves certain key questions, is what I'm doing the right thing? Am I making an impact? Is it valuable to society? Am I uplifting even one person? Is my intention authentic? Am I passionate about what I'm doing? And am I growing? You see, the world we live in today requires more from us than what we studied. Sometimes our paper qualifications don't actually matter. Have you ever stopped to think about what makes you special? What makes you different? You are the sum of your experiences and you are different. And our gifts may seem the same as others. However, we all have that extra something, that extra ability to be the master of that particular thing. So be proficient.